welcome to this video series on the subject information technology for the class 12 science we already started with the lesson 1 advanced web designing now we are going to see the types of css selectors out of the syllabus uh, of this lesson 1 we already seen advanced web designing forms in html5 as well as meta tag we have been seeing cascading style sheets in HTML5 currently. Specifically today, for this lecture, we are going to see types of CSS selectors. The first uh, CSS, uh, CSS selector type is CSS ID selector. Now, you know that ID is always uh, a unique element. I mean that can ID can uh, uniquely identify a particular HTML element in a web page and that's why the CSS ID selector selects the ID attribute of an HTML element to apply style to a specific element so far as the syntax is concerned it is written with the hash character as it is given here hash character followed by the ID name we'll see one rigid example so as you can see in the body section there is a paragraph which is given the id of para1 now it is specified like this p space in the opening tag itself p space id is equal to in double quotes para1 you already know this now uh, to apply style to this particular paragraph and not to this we use this id in style so CSS ID selector will be specified like this. The first is hash, as we have just seen in the syntax. Hash followed by the name or the ID of that particular element. So hash followed by para1. And whatever style that we want to apply to, so text align is equal to center and color is equal to red. So let us see. Yes. Uh, the first paragraph with ID para was having the contents of hello students, which is applied the red color and it is center aligned. If you are not uh, getting that, let me zoom. So, uh, just to check whether the same style is being applied, let me change the color to blue, save, come back here in the page and refresh. Yes, the style is being applied. So this is how whatever we specify in the style is being applied to the paragraph with the ID para1. So with this to uh, summarize, we can apply the style to a specific element by using its ID. The next is CSS class. CSS class selector. Now, it may be the thing that we want to apply the same style to multiple elements within the web page. So, in that case, we can use CSS class selector. It selects HTML elements with a specific class attribute. Here, the whatever elements that we want to um, apply the style to will be given the attribute of that class. See, so the syntax wise, uh, it is used with the period character that is a full stop symbol followed by the class name only the condition is that the class name should not start with a number once again let us see that with one example so css class selector example here we have defined one style now the change is that we are using a dot here followed by the class name the uh, style is same as previous so in body we are applying the same style or the same uh, uh, style class to both the elements one is h1 and one is p in the same way so h1 space class is equal to in double quotes intro similarly p space class is equal to in double quotes intro so this makes this particular style be applied to these elements h1 and p so whatever style that is specified in the uh, declaration will be applied to these two elements let us check whether it is being applied. Yes, it is 
the CSS class letter HTML and now it is shown to have been applied the file that we are given here let us check once again by changing this property value now now it is already center let me check it to change it to left save so what do you think they all should be uh, left aligned let us yes after refreshing both these are left aligned because the same style was applied to uh, both of them let us change back save from here and refresh now once again they are center line that means all the HTML elements to which this class has been applied will be uh, given the same style the next is uh, for specific element type to specify that only specific occurrences of an ele HTML element should be affected or given style then you should use the element name with the class selector let us see how so in this particular uh, HTML page uh, we are we have specified the style as just specified we are using the element name P to which we apply the class intro so this intro class or the style which is same as previous will be applied to such paragraphs on the page where the class is given as attribute so if you can see the body there are uh, elements like h1 and two paragraphs out of which the first two h1 has been applied the class intro and the first paragraph has been applied the class intro and the second paragraph uh, the, I mean, the second paragraph has not been applied with the same style so let us ch uh, check what actually happens with this arrangement it is the specific uh, element HTML as you can see this is the header which is, which has not got the style even though it was specified to be uh, I mean the attribute was applied here given here h1 class intro why because this is the peculiarity because the uh, CSS rule we when defined specified that this class is to be applied only when the element P is used paragraph so even though I apply the same style to h1 it is not seen here but when I apply that class to a paragraph that paragraph is affected so the second paragraph without that class is not affected so once again change the style and check back yes only the uh, the first paragraph is affected and that has got the uh, corresponding style I, I have now changed change the alignment to right and take it back yes this is how next is universal selector now it may be that for all the elements of that web page you want to apply a common style that means the style has to be applied to all of them so there, there is where the universal selector will come in uh, come handy the universal selector is used as a wildcard character as you see it selects all the elements on the web page let us proceed to the example of universal selector see the syntax it is given to be a asterisk character star here this is how you specify that whatever style the declarations that I am going to define here in the CSS rule should be applied to all the element the star or the asterisk star stands for all the elements here now on the uh, body in the body section we have got uh, things like this CSS style or this particular text then h2 then one uh, there are two paragraphs one with the ID paragraph and second with the uh, second is normal paragraph so let us see
ಸುರೇಶ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಇವನ್ ದು ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಎನಿ ಆಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ವೇ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫೈಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇವನ್ ದು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಡ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ವೈ ಬಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ by using the universal selector star let me change that color to blue save it fresh yes all the contents of the elements is now uh, changed let me take the back once again it is green so this is how <coughs> we can uh, you know, see that we can apply a particular style to all the elements using the wild card or universal characters or universal uh, selector the last that uh, selector type we are going to see is group selector it may be that we want to apply uh, a similar a same style to a group of html elements so in that case to minimize the code we can use the group selector here commas will be used to separate uh, each of the element or the selectors in grouping for example let us see the css code uh, without group selector here there are three elements h1 h2 and p they are applied with the same style text align center color blue so if we are not going to use group selector we would have required to specify all those three lines with the same style and that would have increased the code the lines in the code alternatively using group selector we can specify the same style for all these three elements using this particular group selector fashion h1 comma h2 comma p and the declaration text align center color code once again group selector here we have used that h1 h2 ap h1 comma h2 comma p with that particular style and uh, in the on the, uh, the body section there are uh, once again the same similar uh, i mean the same uh, elements h1 h2 p and there is one more that is div so let us see uh, what actually is seen so out of h1 h2 p and div which were specified to be affected in the group selector h1 h2 and p h1 h2 and p they are having the style which is given here but the div which was not part of that group is not affected so uh, let me once again check red color so all the group elements have got the red color let's come back save refresh yes they are now once again um, back to blue color so this is how group selector uh, selector can be used so in this way today we have seen in what different ways the css selectors can be used at the end let me remind you that i'll be putting all the resources uh, regarding this subject on my blog which is uh, https colon double slash vishalparkar dot blogspot dot com Uh, i'll be sharing you a specific page of that blog afterwards where you can see all those resources like the videos old videos uh, some other contents resources even in the previous videos uh, 
don't forget to subscribe to uh, subscribe to this channel so that you can get the intimations of the next videos as they are being uploaded thank you